Today is the first day of three days for early voting in Kentucky, already drawing big crowds of voters lined up out the door in several parts of town. Yeah, election officials across the state are urging voters to do their research before hitting the polls. It's why our Ian Hardwick joins us in the studio here to explain one decision that uh, is about the voting and Amendment 1, Ian. That's right, Connie. Amendment 1, if that passes, that would explicitly ban non-citizens from voting in Kentucky. Now, the Constitution already implies citizenship is required, but the extra language, that makes it more concrete. It's one of two amendments voters are already facing, as anyone can walk in now for early voting. Yes, first time. From 23-year-old first-time voters. I was a little bit nervous, I ain't gonna lie. To those familiar with snapping on a voting bracelet. There we go. Now it's official. I voted today. Early in-person polls open Thursday across Kentucky with two more days of early voting ahead. <laughs> Lines stretched outside the door at Bowman Field, an hour and a half wait for some voters. It was shorter at Okalona Christian Church, where even if the line looked long, it only took about 30 minutes to make it through. Everybody seemed to be working together to make it move fast. But election officials worry two constitutional amendments could slow down voting. On Amendment 1, voters can decide if they want this line added to Kentucky's Constitution. Quote, no person who is not a citizen of the United States shall be allowed to vote in this state. A yes puts the language in while a no vote keeps it out. Hugh Hobbs picked yes. Pay your time and, and your, your just dues like everybody else. And then once you get your citizenship, then okay, you have the right to vote. Yeah. And the Shanti Olive went with no, though she thought it should have been more obvious what line was being added. Because I didn't really know what I was going to get myself into. Kentucky's Constitution already implies citizenship is required to vote. However, the amendment would just solidify the law. With that and school funding amendment two on the ballot, election officials say come prepared. And the election officers can't help you with those. Those are you know, up to the voters to make their decision. And, um, you know, there's a four minute policy. A four minute time limit to vote they may enforce if lines get too long on election day. And for anyone who already filled out their ballot and still needs to mail that in, you can drop those off at any polling location yourself early. Live in studio, I'm Ian Hardwit.